Here we are at Whiteheads Fish and Chips in Hornsey. It's recently been voted the UK's number one fish and chip shop. So we're here to find out what they're like. We're gonna get a regular cod, a regular chips, and a portion of mushy peas, and I'm so excited. One thing we have noticed already is that the fish are only used from sustainable fisheries and the potatoes are all from Yorkshire. That must be good. We're just waiting for it to open but we have noticed there's quite a lot of people waiting for it to open. There's a few sat in cars and yeah, waiting for it to open so... Must be good. Must be So here we are at Hornsey Seafront and here are the magnificent UK best fish and chips. Oh, and the staff in there were really lovely, lovely. really friendly. Uh, they told us all about meeting Jason <laughs> Manford who presented them with the award. Um, and they got to spend some time in London and they got invited to Parliament by an MP. Can't all be good can it? Uh, wow. Okay now that is fantastic. Let me just get some shots because that might be used as a thumbnail might not it? Chip, sourced, lovely colour. Sourced locally. Yeah, potatoes sourced locally. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, they're nice. Crispy. And fluffy on the inside. It did look fluffy on the inside, don't it? That looks really good. As you can see, it's only been cut once, it's cooked, made to order. And the potato has been sourced locally, which means it's sustainable. And Lovely crisp housing, as you can see in the middle. Lovely and fluffy. That is a perfect chip. Give that chip. 10 out of 10. We normally do fives, but on this scale, I think. 10 we'll out go, of 10. We'll go 10 out of 10 for this one. Oh, it's piping hot. We've got a lovely golden batter, crispy. And then look at that cod. Just breaks away. Wow. I'm gonna have to tuck into that. Mmm. Look at that. As nice as that Hornsea seaside was, uh, there's a few sandflies about, so we've just taken a little bit back across the road. There's no flies over here. We're going to try and eat the fish now. Oh my days, look at that. That is perfection. It's just falling away in my hands. Wow. That's incredible. That really is incredible. Right, I'm gonna have a look at these peas. Now then, look at that. That's a lovely pea green color. And I'm liking this consistency. Look, the fork stands up in it straight away, which means they're good consistency. I'm gonna just have a little taste of that. Piping hot, absolutely delicious. Um, everything here is magnificent first rate the cod is so fresh the batter just look at that just look at the way it just comes off and then you've got the fresh cod underneath locally sourced chips perfect consistency peas i mean that is a complete i don't need to eat it to know it's a complete success that is a 10 out of 10 new scale rating for us well done whiteheads hornsey well deserved of the number one chippy in the world and I'm glad we've done a 60 mile circular trip that's going to take us two and a half hours to get here to do it because we, we do have some good fish and chip shops back where we came from we don't have any this good peas like Nicholas says great consistency lovely colour mm, and delicious taste I'm going to do a combo bite now I'm going to take a little bit of fish a chip the fish is so fresh, it won't stay on my fork. It's hard to stay, isn't it? Because it is, it's just literally falling away. And peas. Mwah, whiteheads, Hornsey, amazing. Worth the trip? Absolutely worth the trip. Lovely Dara from Magenta Otter Travels, I've got a link here, um, did a down the line on burdock taste off uh, the other week uh, with two lovely Ians, a husband Ian and a friend Ian. Um, 
and they tried dandelion and burdock as Americans for the first time and they compared it with root beer which they drink a lot of because they're from America. Um, took us a while but we managed to find a root beer in Sainsbury's on the American Isle. It cost £1.50 and Dara says you should drink this with pizza. Well, we've got fish and chips today. Um, this is going to be my very first time as a British person drinking root beer. I've never tried this before. So here we go. It has been chilling in my fridge for over a week. There's a there's definitely a medicinal smell. That is very medicinal. I know Dara said dandelion and burdock smelt medicinal, but this root beer really does. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's a different taste again. It's a different taste again. It, it does taste a bit like cough syrup. Oh, it's making my teeth squeak, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like that stuff footballers rub on the legs. Oh, no. <laughs> Just that. Okay, yeah, I'm not too sure about the smell. Yeah, it's very unusual. It's very... How do your teeth feel? Squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think what that stuff's called. Deep heat. Yeah, we're very sorry, Dara. It's not for us. I'm sorry, Dara. I'm sorry, Ian. This is, this is quite full. It's in the bin. I'm just going to have a, a chip to get rid of that medicine taste. Thanks for that lovely potato. It's taken away that horrible taste. We have got, it can be no other if you're eating fish and chips. Dandelion and burdock now. That also smells unusual, <laughs> but. Oh, yeah. No. Please try dandelion and burdock again when we have fish and chips. I'm gonna need to do another combo bite to get that horrible taste out of my mouth. A deep heat. In fact, I'm gonna do a chip dipped into these delicious mushy peas. And take the lid off. Mm. And now for good old DMB. A fish and chip. A taste you can Must rely on. just had those delicious fish and chips and we've never been to Hornsey before so I think we need to go and check it out see what it's all about come on it's even got an amusement arcade check it out What do you think of that? Okay, Nicholas. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what's that view of the amusement arcade okay, back in the distance? It's really good. You're genuinely not going to believe what we've just seen. It's a massive pyramid. Check that out. What do you think of this pyramid, Jill? Um, it's a bit odd. It looks more like one of those things that we find at the top of the mountains where everyone piles the rocks. What they call cairn. Yeah. It looks Hornsey's version of a cairn. It's actually been given by the town of La Grande Motte, which apparently Hornsey is twinned with. Even Whitehead has got its own piece. Turn out to What One of the things happened is Whitehead's so good. It's pulling the fish and chip shops out of business. 
Stephen Goff, I'm an artist. It's even got another massive puffin, and this one is a litter picking puffin because, as we know, all puffins like to pick litter. And whilst this view behind of this really, really tiny lighthouse, probably the teeny, teeny, teeny tiny lighthouse, is absolutely amazing. You're not going to believe what we've just seen. You're not going to spin around. It's an ancient Roman signal station, probably dates back 3,000 years. What can we see, Jilly? Midlinton. Wow. Flambra! Woof! You can't get lost in Hornsey. It's all these fantastic maps. Where do you want to go? This place, Hornsey Mere, is supposed to be the biggest body of water in all of Yorkshire. Well, I want to check that out. Follow me. I wonder what it's like when it's not in bloom. So, like we've seen on lots of other videos, um, the access to the mere seems to be closed. Although, Julie rang up to us information before we came here and they said no, you can get onto the mere. Well, as you can see, private property. When this gate is closed, the mere are closed to the public. Well, wow. there's a will, there's a way. Here we are, we've finally found the mere. Yes. And we apparently are on the site of Southorpe Medieval Village, which is circa 1086 to 1650. Woof. Woof. So the mere, Yorkshire's biggest body of water, is extremely hard to get to. We've really struggled. Um, the entrance that you're supposed to go down that apparently leads to a cafe and the boating bit is just shut off. I don't know whether it's only weekends it's open, but we've seen um, many videos. Many videos that it's it's people have had trouble getting in. Um, and just everywhere you go, there's signs saying keep out private property, keep out private property. Being very selfish. Let us close to the mere. So, what a day in Hornsey. Um, those fish and chips were incredible. Yummy. Um, I had a look down the seafront, that was quite nice. And it's got a blue flag award and the promenade nice beach, yeah, was okay, lovely. it was quite good. Uh, and then we spent most of the rest of the day trying to get close to Yorkshire's biggest body of water. Uh, but like on every other YouTube video I've ever seen, you can't. It's all closed off and locked off and private, forbidden. Um, you we've apparently been... have to trample this medieval village field to get anywhere near to, to it. To get this close to it. This is as close as we could find to get to it. Um, I, they just not anywhere closer. Uh, so I'd say Hornsey, it's okay. Um, Definitely come if you want some delicious fish and chips. If you want to come for the best fish and chips, this is the place to come. Um, Other than that, probably not. Give it a miss. <laughs>